The rise of artificial intelligence is a great story of our time. Those who have delved online to ask if a robot will take their job might take comfort that design and construction professions such as architects, quantity surveyors, or construction managers are low down on the list of professions likely to be replaced by machines. But with their ever-evolving progress, will our jobs be safe for the long haul? In this video, we'll try and understand first what AI is, secondly what quantity surveying tasks can be taken over by AI, and finally, the likelihood of our jobs becoming utterly redundant. Before we start, if you're enjoying our videos, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icon to get alerts when we upload new content every Wednesday. Back in the 1950s, the fathers of the field, Minsky and McCarthy, described artificial intelligence as any task performed by a machine that would have previously been considered to require human intelligence. That's obviously a fairly broad definition, which is why you'll sometimes see arguments over whether something is truly AI or not. Modern definitions of what it means to create intelligence are more specific. Francois Charlot, AI researcher at Google, has said, Intelligence is tied to the system's ability to adapt and improvise in a new environment, to generalize its knowledge and apply it to unfamiliar scenarios. Intelligence is the efficiency with which you acquire new skills at a task you didn't previously prepare for, he said. Now we have a definition. Has our profession changed due to the advent of computers? Well, the short answer is yes. In the past 50 years, our profession has progressed at a rate that would have been unimaginable. Back in 1971, you could hear the loud click of the blotter that would be slowly printing one A0 drawing, while a QS or team of QSs would be armed with skill rulers measuring off the drawing. They would then scribble their dimensions onto takeoff paper for the secretary to type up on her typewriter. Fast forward 50 years, and the comparison is astounding. Computers in place of typewriters, the room is dominated by surveyors rather than secretaries, and younger members of the office are unsure what a scale ruler is actually used for. With the introduction of desktop computers, QSs have remained essential, while secretaries have been replaced. The question is, will we be replaced with the advent of artificial intelligence? This is where we can breathe a little sigh of relief but not get off totally scot-free. At present, we perform roles such as preparing bill of quantities, raising compensation events or variations, and final accounting works. The creation and compiling of these documents can and will most likely be automated. An intelligent computer will be able to take off all the relevant quantities and prepare a bill of quantities from the design in less time with next to no errors. We as quantity surveyors simply can't compete with those type of tasks. But our jobs will remain relevant and will remain important, and here's why. A lot of our job is human-focused. Extracting value from a project in the planning phase requires a lot of communication and coordination between a quantity surveyor and the other consultants who work at design or delivery. Assisting a client to pick out the best value tender from a group requires excellent negotiation skills. Developing a high-level cost plan based on only 25% of the documentation requires a QS not only to understand the project with limited information, but to reach out to the client and subcontractor to find out exactly what they want and how we can assist. Like we said before, a lot of our role is human-based. This includes having good communication, negotiation, advising, and relationship-building skills. Do we think AI will affect our role as a quantity surveyor? Yes, we believe it will. Will it replace the role of the quantity surveyor? No, we don't think that will happen. Matrone a commercial hub to your business.